cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, this the intro. Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. So, Bears fans, we have been talking a whole lot about quarterback Justin Fields and how some people are supporting Justin Fields and how some people are not really supporting Justin Fields going into the new season. But leading up to this new season for the Chicago Bears, I have been following a very interesting development in regards to Justin Fields' chances in winning MVP this season. And it's actually kind of surprising because MVP sports bettors are actually loving Justin Fields' odds this season to actually take home the most valuable player in the National Football League this season. And according to Caesar Sportsbook and the updated odds for most valuable player, they have Justin Fields at 25 to 1 odds, which puts him right between Dak Prescott and Deshaun Watson. Bears fans, let me ask you guys this, this simple question today on Kick on the Mic. Is it crazy to sit here and think that Justin Fields can actually win MVP this season for the Chicago Bears in the National Football League, especially considering what he's capable of on the ground and the retooled offense that Ryan Poles has built around him this offseason, it may not be too crazy to think that Justin Fields may have a legit chance to be in the conversation to win MVP as soon as this season. And Bears fans, of course, I'm not going to sit here and just crown Justin Fields, but Let's take a second and actually think about the possibility of Justin Fields being in the consideration um, for the MVP race this season. Everybody knows what Justin Fields can do on the ground with his legs. He is absolutely a dynamic player with the football in his hand. We all know that Justin Fields, with the ball in his hands, he's gonna, going to make a lot of highlight reel plays um, this season, especially considering the retool offense around him, especially considering that this is year two in the same system under offensive coordinator Luke Getze, especially considering that he's going to be an improved player himself. We all understand that overall, Justin Fields, as an absolutely dynamic player with the football in his hands. But Bears fans, when we think about Justin Fields being in the MVP conversation as soon as this season, we have to consider this. If Justin Fields can produce better passing numbers, which that's what we expect, especially after Ryan Poles added a true number one wide receiver in DJ Moore, and if he can lead the Chicago Bears to more wins and maybe even be in consideration and be in competition for the NFC North and hopefully make a playoff off birth then there's no reason to think that Justin Fields can't be in the MVP conversation. Because you have to understand, the Bears were a 3-14 and football team last season. We held the number one overall pick. We lost 10 games in a row under quarterback Justin Fields. But now that there is more talent around Justin Fields, now that he is more comfortable in the system, now that he's going to be an improved player himself, if Justin Fields can take his team from worst to first in one season and he is the main reason why we are that good, then Justin Fields should definitely be in the MVP conversation. I know it may sound crazy, um, but it's truly not crazy at all. After all the things I discussed here in today's video, I mean, it wouldn't be crazy at all if Justin Fields was actually in the MVP conversation. And Bears fans, even though the Chicago Bears were 3-14 and last season and held the number one overall pick, which means you are the worst team in football, Justin Fields proved, even on a 10-game losing streak, that he can put the team on his back. Back, um, and carry the franchise and, and try to get them to win football games. We understand um, that it wasn't Justin Fields' fault why we were losing football games. Our defense was absolutely putrid. Our offensive line was absolutely putrid. He didn't have the proper weapons on the outside, but when you looked at Justin Fields' performance, especially on the ground, he was carrying the Chicago Bears football team on his back. So now we know that he can do that. Now, once again, a year later, he has a better team around him. He knows the system far better, and he's in year two um, under the same system under offensive care coordinator Luke Getty, and he already looks like an improved player 
early on. Does that mean he's actually going to win MVP? Um, absolutely not. But there's no reason to think that he can't actually win the MVP um, as soon as this season and actually be in the conversation. Overall, Bears fans, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, but I feel like it was just an interesting development that I wanted to bring on here on the podcast and discuss with you guys. Um, so we're at the wait and see what Justin Fields does this season. Uh, but if Justin Fields can, in fact, um, play at a high level um, and take this football team to one of the worst football teams from last season and, and turn them into one of the best, and he is the sole reason why the Bears are really good, then yes, I can definitely see Justin Fields being in the MVP conversation. So Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. Do you guys think that Justin Fields can actually win the MVP as soon as this season for the Chicago Bears? Let me know down below in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears from that you know. But other than that, back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic, a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and bear down.